In the previous steps, we made a visual representation of our business model and the value creation. While doing that, we mapped the elements and their values to the value cube, also known as the business model cube. Let's see what this cube looks like. This is the cube, represented as an actual 3D cube with six sides. You can twist and turn the cube to view the elements that we have stored in it, categorized per type. You can also click on the elements to see more details. Another way to view the value cube is by going to the table view. In this view, the categories are separated by tabs. By clicking on a row in the table, you can view the details and make changes if needed. If you want to analyze the dependencies between values, you can use the aggregation view. This view is also available from the maps we have created before, like the ecosystem and strategy map. In this view, you can analyze how the elements branch out from one another and what the calculated values are. This value cube is the basis for the dashboard that we will create later. Also important to mention is that we have demonstrated one value cube. It is, however, possible to create multiple cubes, each from a different perspective of the ecosystem. This way, you can work with dependencies between stakeholders.